Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I post beauty related content here on YouTube three times a week. If they're the kind of videos you love to watch then please hit that subscribe button down below. Today we are finally, finally, finally getting round to doing a lip swatch video of all of the P. Louise bases. I have them all here. I think there's about 14. Um, two don't have the boxes but I just wanted to show you the boxes. I got them when they were on sale for like £5 each in the end. I did have three for a long time since like last year when she released them and then I decided to collect them all and then what better than to do a video for you so the boxes just look like this actually really stunning the boxes I love them if they were just like this didn't have this part on I would literally just store them like that so you could see the name at the top however when you do open them you can see the color on them so tubes just look like this absolutely gorgeous and then the names are on the back too so this one is all night and this one is a lovely color what I'm gonna do is is what I usually do and swatch on my hand and swatch on my lips if you're wondering what's on my lips right now it's vintage by beauty bay lip liner and then south side lipstick the combo love it so yeah let's start with the nudist shade of course the first shade i'm going to start off with is stark naked and this is described as a soft and light muted nude with a golden brown undertone so that is what the packaging looks like let's swatch it for you oh yeah and the applicators just like a squeezy tube basically and there is stark naked it's definitely what they say This is not my shade whatsoever. This is ugly. Oh, I hate this shade. I'm sorry, but this is, oh, it, it looks horrendous. Like, I know you can use P. Louise products for different things, but my God, I would never wear this. Does not suit me. Looks like crap on my lips. I do love the formula of these and they do smell so nice. Like, they smell like they've got a hint of sweetness to them. But this color, what the fuck am I meant to do with it? Like what the fuck anywho next shade is solo nude which is described as a warm and true taupe brown nude so let's hope this one is much nicer than the last one because ew and they do dry down they do they do dry down but yeah that is that is much nicer i am gonna quickly whip this off so i can whip this on because no <laughs> This shade is a little bit more me. This shade would be nice in the center of another shade. I could actually wear this on its own. I like this shade, I really do. I'm kind of glad that we took that first shade off my lips. So next shade I'm thinking of trying because on the website they're not kind of in color order. So we've done solo, we've done stark, let's do semi-nude. This is described as a light peachy nude with a subtle beige pink undertone, which I don't think these are kind of like my favourite to try, but this is what the packaging looks like. Let's now show you what it looks like on me hand. Some of them please do shake because they can be quite watery. That's the shade there. I do like it. I think this would be nice in the center of something, but it's not something I might not wear on its own. Who knows? Let's put it on and try. This shade, not the shade I said I would wear. Like I said, it's it's a little bit different for what I would wear. It's It would be nice in the center of something, but it wouldn't be something I'd wear on its own. It's a gorgeous shade, and if you're paler than me, this would be a lovely nude for you. Just not something I would reach for. So the next shade we're going for is Baby Doll, which is sh um, described as a neutral light pink shade. So let's see. It does look very, very light. It says neutral. Yeah, very neutral too. So it's not going to be a shade that I'm going to be very happy about. It's something I might put in the center of lips though, but it's something like very like me early 2000s would have worn. I would not wear this. I would not wear this whatsoever. I think once I've done this lip swatch video, I'm gonna rewatch the footage and possibly give some of these away, you know, cause yeah, I'm never gonna wear this. Like, 
after I've done this video, I'm never going to try it in another video for whatever reason. Like once this video is done, you guys have the content. You guys can keep watching and find shades that you're going to buy. This, never going to wear again. So I feel like some of these I'm just going to give to some friends or sell. And the next shade I have is called Can't Resist. Now this shade is called a soft nude beige shade. I feel like this is going to be another one. Let's see. Mm, I might actually... And that is what the colour looks like. Let's see. Put it on my lips and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Again, another shade I don't like. I feel like out of these I'm going to keep the third one I tried, which I can't remember what it was. Maybe can't, no, it weren't, can't resist. It was the one before that. Yeah, this is not my shade again. But we're going to move on. We're going to move on to what looks like more shades I would actually use. So the next shade we have here is Whipped. And it's described as a vibrant, punchy peach tone with a soft coral neutral under... Not neutral. Coral undertone. Let's hope this is something that I would wear. Because so far, not been my favourites. But... This video is also to show you guys what they look like in case you want them. It is a very corally shade and a little goes a long way. Do not put too much on. If you put a lot on, it goes glossy. If you put a light layer, it goes matte. So they're actually nice, the formula. So let's try this. This shade's getting there. It's getting to the ones that I like. This one I would wear with a darker lip liner and I'll kind of put it over the top of it and just blend it in. This one's nice. It's okay. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile for me. I've now got piles. Next shade. I know what this shade is because I have used it before. Ooh. This shade is called Devour. This is described as a vivid coral shade with a subtle touch of vibrant orange. This shade I thought was a little different from the packaging when I first bought it. Um, but it's not. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. Trip fun story. I lost this. Lost it for a very long time and then I found it. And this is what it looks like. It actually does have an orange undertone to it. So perfect for this weather at the moment. Let's put it on the lips. This shade is getting into the shades that I like and that go with me and my skin tone, really. This is really nice. And this one was nice at ombre in it out. This is perfect. Like, that, just that subtle hint of coral, you're getting there. It's not as orange as I thought it would be. It's got orange undertones, like it said, but it's not as orange as I thought it would be on the lips. They do look a lot different on my hand than they do on my lips. The next shade we have here is called Classy. This is a mid-tone coral with a deep peach undertone. I just can't wait to get into the deep shades. They're going to be my favourites. Let's see. Yeah, see, this one is, is paler than Devour. Let's see what it looks like, okay? Because they're surprising me, to be honest. This shade's actually quite nice, you know? This is definitely a nice little coral peachy lip colour. I, I actually do like this shade. Like, I wasn't too sure putting that on my hand, but... It's actually quite nice, and again, I'll probably pair this with a nice darker peach lip liner, but it's not too bad, not too bad at all. Next shade here is Babe, Your Bougie, and this is described as a rosy mid-tone pink shade. I like mid-tone pink shades, but I like deeper ones better. That is quite nice, isn't it? That shade there. Okay, <laughs> this shade is actually quite nice. I would put this in the centre of something. I wouldn't wear it on its own. But again, if you're paler than me, then this would be a nice, fair, nude pink shade for you. But for me, this looks like concealer lips, like most of them do already. Next shade we have here is Bad Intentions. This is described as a deep, earthy brown shade with an intense terracotta undertone. Okay, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I've never opened a box so fast in my life. I cannot wait. Oh my god, okay. Oh, look at that. That, let's just get it on. Let's get it on. Alright, this shade is so me. I am in love with this shade. I'd wear this all the time, all year round. Perfect. It says it's got like a terracotta undertone, so it's perfect for autumn. For some people that like to keep their lip shades like per season. I do that, but like certain shades like this, I could wear all the time. So this is 
proper thumbs up from me. Next shade that we have is called All Night. Now I don't have the box for this because this was one of the original shades that I bought years ago. This is described as an intense brick red hue with a medium brown undertone. So again, this sounds like a shade that I'm going to love. Look at that. That's a definite me shade right there. One thing I'd say is the lid does get quite dirty for these, so you'll probably have to clean them because it dries in. Can you see how dry that swatch is compared to the rest of them? So yeah, you're definitely going to have to clean these tubes, but they've been easy to apply, to be honest. This shade is so nice. Again, this is perfect for this time of the year. And this is one of those shades that is a transitional one. So you can wear it transitioning into autumn. You can wear it transitioning into spring. This is a lovely shade. Like you can see the red hues to it and it just looks nice. This one dried down more than the rest of them. I like the formula of the, I feel like she changed the formula a little bit from when she first released them to when I've bought them the second time, because I bought them maybe like nine months to a year apart. So I do like it like this compared to how shiny they've been. The next shade we have is Relentless Rouge. Now this is described as a deep and rich burgundy hue with a warm undertone. So I think this is going to be another one of my favourites. Yes, it is. Just look at that packaging. Definitely going to be a favourite. <gasps> look at that. Let's get it on. I love this shade. Now this one, my lips are actually hurting now. I had to use a lip brush to really like be precise with it. But yeah, when you wear this one, definitely put a liner down, use a lip brush to manipulate it a little bit, and then you'll get the best out of it. Cause it's a deeper shade. It is gonna take a little bit of working with because the applicator is just not as precise as you would need it for a deep shade. But I do love this shade. The next shade we have only two left, so I'm excited. This shade Unbutton is electric and vivid orange toned shade. So I wish I used this before and left the last one as this one, but hey ho. This is what it looks like in the tube. Oh, this is definitely orange. That is definitely autumnal. It's a bright orange, but you could work it and make it autumn by adding like a deeper liner on it. Okay, if you like bright oranges, you're gonna love this. This is such a nice orange color. It's definitely not too autumnal and not too summery. It's like bang in the middle, not too neon. Um, just so you know, I've noticed that lipstick has been on my teeth countless times in this video. But yeah, just ignore that because these have been so thick that yeah, you just have to, that's why I'm saying like a light layer is enough. But this is a really nice shade. And then we're gonna go for the last shade, which is left on red and this was one of the shades that I had before and this is described as a bold and intense true tone red which I hope it is because I love true reds yeah let's put this on my lips this is the last shade my lips hurt guys they really do I like the shade it's really nice it's red <laughs> I've lost enthusiasm I've butchered the application of this but yeah I do love this shade it's really nice the formula of these are nice like they do dry down but you only need a little bit if you want them thick and glossy add a little bit more onto them they do get on your teeth so easily so please be careful they do retail naturally for £10 but P. Louise always does sales like I got these for £5 and I'm waiting for the blushes to go on sale for £5 next to be honest TikTok shop is another thing like things are always on sale on TikTok shop but yeah yeah, like what do you guys think is there any shades you're gonna pick up the formula I like the formula when I first tried them it wowed me now I feel like a lot of formulas are getting like this like they're like similar to the Maybelline vinyls where they dry down but um they still feel comfortable on the lips my lips are hurting I've added so much foundation around my lips because of just so much also should we do I never do a kiss test <laughs> Yeah, they ain't, they're transferable. <laughs> so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We did just swatch about 14 shades. Please clap for my lips. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye.